Thanks for watching BDI Tech. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. All videos on this channel are in two languages, English and Urdu Hindi. Hey, what's up guys? Faisal here and welcome back to Billion Dollar iTech, the place where future tech lovers come to get inspired. In today's quick video, we'll go through steps on how to free up RAM on your iPhone X. It's kind of little bit changed since we don't have home button on iPhone X. Now, if you try a couple of things on your phone, it's still freezing up. You may follow these steps to clear the rain. You might not need to do this on your iPhone X all the time, but there is a way to do it. Let's see how it works. If you open the app switcher, and you guys can see, these apps are here. And so once we clear the rain, these all apps will force reload. In order to do that on iPhone X, we need to go on the settings. Then we're gonna go down to general. Then we're gonna go to accessibility. Under accessibility, we will look for assistive touch and turn this on. Now that's what I said, you don't need to do this tedious process all the time. I'll show you more simple methods later. So next, what we will do is, we will go to screen where we powered off. So Apple's one of the way doing this is volume up, volume down and hold the power button. Then you will see this screen. Tap on this and here you will need to tap an old home. Boom! You will see it goes right back and that's all you need to do. We can verify that worked by going on app switcher and we can go to YouTube app and you will see it reloads and you can do this with other apps as well. Maybe we want to go to Twitter app and you can see it reloads and that's how you can verify that this is actually working. And now if you go back and you can see that it's just there, it doesn't reload anymore. But again, if we go back to the same screen, volume up, volume down and hold the power button and tap and hold home, it cleared the RAM again. And if we open up the YouTube again, it has to reload and same goes with other Twitter app as well. That's the way you can verify that this actually works. A pro tip for this video, if you want to turn on or off assistive touch quickly without going to tedious steps, you may need to go to settings, general, accessibility, scroll down all the way, tap on accessibility shortcut and select assistive touch. So what happens when you press the power button three times, it will quickly activate and deactivate the assistive touch. If you find this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I'm your host Faisal. Until then, peace.